Hello guys, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 Hearts of Darkness, uh, the Portugal campaign. Uh, so in the last episode we decided to change our party to the Partido Radical, uh, in order to, um, you know, I guess help out our economy as much as we can. Uh, the reason why I prefer these guys over the um, the liberals are that... Um, oh. Okay, that's actually a little bit surprising. I actually thought that that these guys were going to be anti-military, but they're not, so... Let's take a look. What's the policy? Build railway. You can't build railway when you're doing that. Uh, is there really any difference at all between, like, the, the radicals? Yeah, I think these guys are... They're atheism, while these guys are... Uh, yeah, these guys have a little bit more religious, I guess. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with not having too much religion. I like that. So, that works out, I guess. Let's do... I guess we could do some more liber or safety regulations. I mean, we are not going to pay for the factories anymore, so I mean, what the hell. Uh, okay, sure. Safety regulations, oh yeah. Yeah, so we're building a lot of railroads at the... Oh, hello. Why did the... Oh yeah, we can't build anything now because we are... Um, we are doing the Radical. It's funny though, we can build railways in Persia. But we can't build it in our own goddamn country. So stupid. So we're getting a lot of cores. I'm wondering where these cores are at. I'm not really paying attention. <gasps> oh, look at that! We are getting cores in uh, the Caribbean. That's so cool. Actually, uh, a pre in the previous episode, I said that we were most likely not going to get this stuff. Simply because we... Um, I thought we we annexed them too late, but I guess we didn't. So, uh, lucky for us then, I guess. Yeah, since we now no longer have to expand our own factories. Uh, but I'm going to keep a close eye, though, on the situation of the... Um, of the oh come on expand that shit. I want to keep a close eye on the um, on the industry simply because I I want to make sure that uh, our economy has reached a point where a uh, laissez-faire economy is uh, you know something that I should do because it might be the fact that um, I mean we are not ready for it yet our economy isn't stable or whatever uh, stable enough for you know you know I'm not sure though really I can't really tell. Should probably also start building some forts, but I'm uh, I rarely build forts simply because I wow we have no naval base here. That's kind of sad. Uh, wow, we don't even have a naval base over here. That's do we have one in India? Yeah, we have one in India, but it's not exactly upgraded. So I mean, we guess we have to do something about that. This is kind of expensive, but I mean, look at our money. We have a lot of money, so it's cool. Yeah, let's just spam naval bases all over the place. Uh, yeah, I think these are... the Chinese one is currently upgrading, isn't it? No, it's not, huh? Okay. Wow, I, I really thought we were doing better in Korea when it comes to naval bases, but I guess we weren't. Something I find kind of interesting, though, is that no Portuguese people have decided to move into Korea yet. Or it's 99% Korea. I don't know, maybe there's some Portuguese people here? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> there is um, 67 Portuguese farmers living in uh, this one region of Korea. In Kangnung. That's kind of nice, I guess. Korean, Portuguese. Yeah, there are some Portuguese farmers. I wouldn't expect farmers to come over here, though. I would expect, like, um, like clergy and, um, you know, aristocrats, I guess. Or, um, you know, the, um, what's that called? Yeah, bureaucrats. I thought they would be, the Portuguese would mainly come over here to be that kind of stuff, but I guess not. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that. Okay, so Beijing is still stable. It's still keeping its own. Uh, who's occupying this? Reactionaries. So, humiliate Kansas Billy on Japan. Hmm. I don't know, though. Japan? I mean, it's just... Ah, I don't know. I'm sorry for being so lazy, guys. I mean... This uh, this campaign could have been a lot more interesting, a lot more wars and shit. But I'm I I keep avoiding wars simply because I 
I know what I want and when a war is not going to give me what I want then I usually don't bother with it. That's my basic ideology when it comes to this game. Because we got a crisis going on somewhere. Romania. Ah, the Romania. Oh wow, it's actually in the um It's actually in Austria. I've I've seen like uh it happened over here before, but I haven't seen it happen in Aus or uh, yeah, in Austria. No, so, so, so it's actually a legit crisis. Like yeah, let's be interested in this one. I want to keep neutral though as for as long as as I can. I want to make sure that I support the right side. At the moment, I guess I would most likely go uh, um, support the Russians. Uh, simply because they... Um, it's two against one and I'm not that afraid of Britain, actually. Simply because, I mean, they have their superpower, all right? They, look, they have a huge military score, but I mean, they are kind of like... Um, I mean, I, I, I don't look upon them as that threatening simply because they... They usually don't do very much when it comes to war and shit. They usually just hang out and, you know, chill out, I guess. They just... They have, like, a million gazillion badrillion troops in India. They're just sitting there not doing anything. And... Yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> it's kind of a simple... The simple way of the British. Well, let's get that electricity going. Modernizing. Oh, yes. Albania. Yeah, so we are not doing much. Oh, we got nitroglycerin. I think that's the thing we need to build the canals. Let's see. Build Panama, Panama Canal. Yep, we need that. Uh, but we need to own, or we need to um, sphere the guys first, though. And we're not doing that at the moment. It's interesting that the Americans haven't built a canal yet. One would expect that they would have done that by now. As well with Egypt. Are people still competing with who should control... Um, we should control this shit. Even great powers. Yeah, look at that. Friendly, 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 friendly. They just... They can't agree who will control it, I guess. They're going up and then someone else will ban them and, you know. That's the way of Egypt. But that's kind of a ni nice thing, though. Uh, I think that's like the optimal way of playing like a not-so-powerful nation. Simply because you have the advantage of like you you get protection from the states because they're friendly towards you, but you don't have to like um, you know dedicate your economy towards them. Simply because you are oh wow look at this shit, so much money being made. But I'm kind of worried about this though. I don't like the fact that there are so f few factories built in um, in China and stuff. I mean, there's a huge amount of workers here, or at least potential for workers. I mean, you can see the few factories that we decided to build, they're like huge already. So I'm thinking that we, uh, once we start unlocking technologies for, um, for like cars and telephones and that kind of fancy stuff, then I'm just going to quickly change over to um, socialism, and then I'm just going to build a crap load of shit, and then I'm just going to, you know, you know, end it with that, I guess. And yeah, we are, we are not done transporting our navies any quite yet, I think. We have still some navies hanging out over here. Let's get them on the boat. Are we funding our... Yeah, we are funding our... We are funding our um, national stock by purchases. Purchases, so then, Yeah, we can carry quite a bit more troops. So let's carry, a, you know, carries more troops. Let's just, like, have, like, one huge, huge transport navy. Transport navy. To one transport navy to rule them all. To bind them, darkness, something, I don't know. I don't know how the perfect quota for that is. Uh, can we carry everyone? Oh yes, we can. So I think we're going to leave uh, three ships, or not. So like that, then can we now split them up? We cannot, okay. Just put them away. And remove six of these ships. That's six, alright. Put them in the, uh, in the Asian Navy them on the boat and send them to Europe and that should be the final final boat trip for our boats Ooh, Colombia oh we're actually still influencing over here that's nice increase that opinion we could we are friendly we're, we're we're getting there really the Americans are most likely going to ban us very soon once they get a hundred but we are slowly getting there 
Uh, what I would like is if we could get if we could get this place, then we can build the um, the Panama Canal. And uh, I mean that's awesome. We want to do that, of course. Of course. So yeah. China Convention. Yeah, China is just a mess. Holy. Shit. Okay. So, yeah, look at that. It's actually stabilizing slowly but surely. They have been able to build up some troops. Um, so I guess the radicals are stabilizing the country. That yeah, they're trying to do at least. The only loss was this place, uh, but China has cores on this though, so I mean, um, most likely China is going to reconquer this place. They might even try to reconquer some of my shit, but I don't think they will. I mean, they haven't tried reconquering um, Russia, Russian China, or whatever you want to call it. Look at that, 57,000 troops, and we haven't even recruited all our troops yet. Crazy. I'm just going to let them all recruit, and then I'm just going to deal with them. Deal with them later. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, there's something I wanted to do. Ah, oh, fuck that. Just keep speeding up time. I mean, there's like nothing to do now. Once that I, since I've changed my um, my party, like there's literally nothing to do. Hmm. Uh, other than just waiting. Oh wow! Look at our research points. They're going through the roof. Okay. I mean, it's uh, it's actually quite uh, impressive. I like it. Could maybe get some more um, clergy, but I mean we're currently using our in our our, um, our influence points or whatever to the best of their their abilities, so we can't really do anything about that. Something I've kind of thought about is the fact that some of you guys might um, be slightly disappointed in the fact that how sort of um, discovery of steel alloys. Give me a second. Industrial armament. Okay, okay, that's all nice and all, but I want the um, I want radios. How do I get that? The current sitting culture would make sense if if it were mass advertising. Social loads of different stuff. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's in here. We haven't really done too much in the commerce. We should really get some of these. I mean, they're really cheap to get. Um, farming the pump, centralize the commoner army planning. Activate oil. Oh wow, we need to do this one. Oil, 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 oil. Hyperinflation. That's not nice. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know where where we we find radios. I would guess they were would be over here. Electrical lighting, telephone, telephone switchboard. That sounds like something that um, X-rays. No, I don't know. I just I don't know. If you know, then please leave it in the comments. Cause I would love to know. Yeah, so fuck this shit, uh, let's do some uh, commerce. We need to get down to oil, where's oil? Oil, 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 Is it in here? Fuck, I found it, where is it now? Gold standard. Loads of cool things, but nothing, um... Karl Marx. Sweet. In 1905. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, fuck. Where? Well, I guess we'll. Ju oh no, no, no. Well, I guess we'll just start somewhere, and then we'll just work our way. I mean, this looks kind of nice. Factory in increase the efficiency of our factories. You see, it's quite fast when it comes to researching this stuff, so we shouldn't be too, you know, shouldn't be a problem. And I really want to discover oil, though. <sighs> Ooh, now this is something uh, interesting. Uh, place in the sun, Cassis Belly, against the Spanish. Oh, yes, please. I like it. Uh, so this might actually... Uh... So we'll get that one. 
no, 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 let's speed up. We need to think though, is this something that we should take use of? So what could we claim if we decided to do it anyways? Morocco could be one. We could maybe try and take this one to complete our place in uh, in the Caribbean. What else do they own? They own uh, Philippines, of course. Yeah, Philippines would be kind of nice. There's a lot of people living here, isn't there? That's a decent chunk. Do they have any nice resources that I kind of would want to take? Iron... Uh, nothing special. Don't they have something cool? Something unique? Something that would be kind of awesome having under my rule. I don't think there's any too sp anything too special. Um, okay, so now we have the possibility to going um, against the Spanish without paying an infamy. Although I would love to have an ally in this war. Hey, Italy, you want to ally me again after I to Yeah, you want. <laughs> Gotta love Italy, man. Even though I totally just ditched them in their war against... Um, against the uh, everyone really <laughs> they're like yeah sure we'll ally you oh the Prussians Austria do you want to ally me of course you will so let's get some uh, nice alliances here mm, yes okay so now we have quite a bit of alliances so now the question is who will join us so the Prussians will most likely join us the Austrians will not join us because they have a truce and I think our Casus Belli will run out before that. Um, so the, Italy, the Italians will join on their side. So it will become a war. Uh, it will be me versus... It will be me versus... It will be me and Prussia versus Italy. Versus... Or maybe Prussia? I, I, mm, I don't know. I don't really don't know. How's the position? Oh, the Netherlands suck balls. So that, they're not a threat. Uh, they have some... Oh... If they join the war, what I think I might end up doing is maybe I will um, try and request one of the territories from the Dutch. Oh, that's gonna cost me infamy though, and I... Ah... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel this campaign needs some action, so I mean, I guess we can just go ahead and declare war. We'll do a little, little bit of preparation though. Let's see, how long does this last? Uh, could have lasted longer, I would prefer it. So let's just take our troops, move them up to the borders. Uh, I don't know if we want to mobilize in this war. I don't know if we need to. Because the Spanish are really weak, the Italians are decently weak. The really, Every part of these guys suck, I guess because they have been on the losing side of so many wars. Yeah, Spain is still crippled by the uh, Great War, aren't they? This would be a perfect opportunity to attack. Fuck yeah, let's attack. Um, we need to think though, because I want to invade this area and I need boats to do that. So we are we are getting our army in China ready up. So um, we have decent transport ships over here. We could recruit a little bit more, I think, like a couple of more, because I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to bring my entire I don't want to bring my uh, transport army from Europe over to here. I just don't feel like it, Lily. Let's build one here as well. Oh, that's not too, that's too much. Okay. Yeah, that's a decent transport army, so that should allow us to transport troops over to the Philippines, as well as the um, Indonesia, or Dutch Indonesia. So that should work out. So we are going to fight the Spanish... We're going to fight the, the Dutch, the Ottomans. As well. Ah, the Ottomans. Uh, they're actually decently powerful, and they're spared by the Russians. Hopefully the Russians don't uh, intervene in the war. If they do, then that's a problem. Uh, we have some African troops, though, so we should be able to march them north to the deserts of um, Libya to fight off the Ottomans there. Yeah, uh, the these guys are not a great power, are they? No, they're not even a secondary power. They suck really hard. So, this is not going to be a great war. Wow, that's something I didn't think of, actually. Um, my great plans of having a great war with Spain, I think I'm starting to think more and more that that's not going to happen. Because they're not a fucking great power anymore. Italy's not a great power. Ottomans are not a great power. No one of these guys are, are a great power. So really, it's just, I don't know. Fuck it, I should stop talking and uh, start fighting. Let's call our allies. Um, so, these Prussians will join me, hopefully. Yeah, we need to choose a region though, that's like, I haven't really thought about that, like what region we will actually take. 
I would prefer, of course, if we could like take a region from um, from Spain proper. But I guess that's not going to happen at this moment. Ah, maybe some, maybe something from Morocco will be nice. I don't know though. There's not many people living here, and I have a decent. I have quite a bit of Africa, so I don't think I need any more over there. There's quite a decent chunk of people living in Puerto Rico, actually. But what region is this a part of? Yeah, it's a part of this region. I think there's one more island that the. <gasps> oh, look at that! That's so cute. The uh, the, <laughs> the Danish have become communists. That's kind of cool. Ah, uh, the, the motherland of Denmark. Anyways. <laughs> Is this... no. This, I thought Spain owned something of it. I guess they don't. I don't know, Puerto Rico, it seems like a... Seems like a, such a small prize for such a huge war that we're gonna go... I don't know how huge this war is gonna be. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm kind of leaning towards doing... Um, uh, doing... Um, Oh, I cannot talk because I'm stupid. Uh, I'm trying to... I want to... Um, I should just go kill myself. Uh, well, I shouldn't kill myself. I should kill my English. It's making me embarrassed. It's making me sad. Oh, shit. I totally forgot to bring these guys over to Europe. Oh, well. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. So, yeah. I think I'm going to take one of the regions in, uh, in the Philippines. I think I want to go for Luzon. I think that's the highest populated one. Yeah, it is. So, we're going to do that one. Um, can't... So we're gonna declare war for Luzon, Al Reef, Taza, Spanish Micronesia. They have some islands, don't they? Ah, oh, they do. I don't know if that's worth it, though. Uh, I really don't know if that's worth it at all. Do they have any? I don't. They don't seem to have that much, actually. So ah. Oh man, decisions. Why? Why? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's almost like I should like leave a call, like leave a comment suggesting. But I don't think this. I don't think this episode have been going on for long enough. So I think I'm just gonna go and declare war. Christmas and islands, Coco Islands, Morocco. I'll leave. No, let's do Luzon. I think Manila. Yeah, I think. Yeah, let's just do this one. Call our allies. Luzon, proceed. Okay, so the Italians, they didn't join on either side. Oh, they joined on my side! Ha! Sucks for you, fucking Spain. It looked. Wow, that was like. It, it was like, um. Very unlikely that that was gonna happen. So that's really cool that it actually ended up happening. I like it. Yeah, cool shit. Portuguese colonial conquest of Luzon. Oh yes, very much so. Oh shit, we need to fund our we need to fund our army. Um, what I'm hoping is going to happen. Oh yeah, that's right. We are. Um, wow. Oh wow. Okay, that improved it a little bit, but it's still. Yeah, um, this is a. Problem. Our um, our radical government is um, fucking up our war time expense. Yeah, that's oh, that's bad. Oh, ah, we need to blitz this war like the Germans did. I don't think they ever invaded Spain though. No, they didn't. What am I saying? But still, it's gonna blitz the crap out of you. Yeah, that's right. Actually, I actually made a plan for my invasion of Spain. You wanna see it? You can't answer, so I'm just going to show it to you anyways. Uh, because that was a silly little feature that I discovered when I was uh, derping around in this game, preparing for an episode. I present to you the plan of invading Spain. So, this is my plan. I will have uh, boats landing troops off in uh, the mainland. They will push inwards. Then I will, will have planes that I haven't invented yet uh, go and bombard the, um, the, um, the mainland. I will also have a huge naval landing in Morocco, as well as over here. I will um, kill this shit, as it says here. Uh, this is Madrid, by the way, and that, that's the planes bongo, going so who are going to bombard it. I'll also send a naval uh, invasion over here. Uh, although this isn't the plan for what I'm currently fighting for. Uh, this is um, this was me trying to draw up the borders that I want. Uh, I would love to before the game ends. I would love to conquer Leon Castel, Galicia, and uh, Extremadura. I think that would look really nice. I mean, look at these borders. Don't they look nice? 
Yeah, I think I should be able to do that though. If I, if I fight this war, and then I wait another ten years for the truce to run out, and then I take one region, went and wait another ten years, I uh, five years. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should work out. Yeah, I, I, I do it gradually. I think I want to do it simply because I um. Um, simply because I, uh, oh, hello, Mr. Spanish Army. And they had a little bit more force than this, forces than I thought. Okay, so let's reinforce this. Let's reinforce. Once these guys attack, then I will reinforce. That's my strategy. Reinforce, reinforce all the shit. Uh, oh, wow, oh my god, what a slaughter this is. Okay, retreat, retreat, retreat. That is not worth it. <laughs> yeah, you. at this point in time, you're really starting to take some serious penalties for being the um, attacker. And uh, yeah, they're mobilizing. I think we're going to have to mobilize ourselves. We can't mobilize too many troops, but I mean, I think it's going to be nice. Okay, so let's re-put uh, our troops out again. Yeah, we should be able to win that. Because you, because so because armies can start digging down now, um, like making trenches and shit, like they did in the first world war. Oh, please, 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 please win this battle. Please win, 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 win. Yes. Oh, it's such a wonderful thing. Okay, so let's just that army reinforce that. How are we doing on? Yeah, we have some um, peasantry here and some craftsmen that we're gonna put over here to kill these guys. How are we doing on the other fronts? Yeah, we're getting killed off by the Ottomans, but that's not going to last too long, though. Yeah, no, I don't want to go through that. That's just going to take me a huge amount of destruction. No. Fuck it, then. Go through it, if you that's what you want. Ooh, but I'm... Oh, man. Wouldn't it be nice if I... Um, if I uh, ask to get uh, Libya? That's going to be expensive, though, and I don't know if I can afford that in the long run. Especially if I want to conquer parts of Spain. Because that's going to be, th it's going to be 30 infamy in total, and uh, yeah, I don't, uh, it's kind of, maybe if I sacrifice one of these regions, um, or maybe if I'm lucky when I'm fabricating claims, or fabricating uh, castles bells, or, you know what I mean. Oh, look at this, <laughs> the Dutch are moving in. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't know though, can we even add a Wargul at this point? I don't think the, the war isn't going good enough, I think. Yeah, and then fucking Jingoism, man. Such a weird feature. I never really understood that one. How it exactly works. Yeah, so we are killing uh, these guys pretty nicely. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till this sort of frontier here finishes off. Because I'm gonna collapse in here. I'm just gonna annihilate this little army here. Should be able to win this. How are we doing? Yeah, everything seems to be going fine. How are we doing in um, it or in Asia though? Uh, oh, it doesn't seem like they have bothered doing anything. Let's take our um, navy though. Uh, didn't we? Yeah, we're currently building another, so we'll just wait for that one, and we'll we'll continue focusing on Europe for now. And Africa, of course. Let's just moving and start occupying this shit. Let's do that one, as it's not a desert. Um, or not, we can just, just go down south then. Oh, we are losing here. It's not nice. Oh, hello, Mr. Huge amount of troops. Okay, let's split those off. Send a huge battalion of 66,000 down to uh, yeah, this place that I can't see the name of because it's blocked. There we go. So we won that. Um, right. Oh, hello, Mr. Army. Why are you derping in my... My land, how dare they? Oh, that's something I really dislike about this expansion, though, is the fact that you cannot justify, you can't justify wars while you are fighting a war, which I guess is, you know, it is kind of um, realistic or whatever, but it's, you know, I like it the old way, because I always felt that this game is a little short in a sort, because it's sort of like. Um, Oh, we can already get it, get it. Okay, uh, that was fast. Mm. The question is, do we want to get anything more out of this war? We can add some other war goal. Or not. 
Uh, what I what I was trying to say, we could potentially add another war goal that is not, you know, conquest of territory, like releasing a nation or whatever. But the um, the, the French have already occupied um, Catalonia. That's what it's called, yeah, yeah Catalonia. So that's not thing uh, we can do about. Uh, the who else are we? Yeah, we're fighting Dutch. Uh, maybe grabbing a colony of the Dutch would be a good idea. But it's going to be expensive though. I think that's a bad mechanic of this game. I really wish. I really think though that um, that taking a colony from a nation should cost five infamy. It shouldn't cost ten infamy, ten infamy as it currently does. Because I would love to take, like, uh, some of these oil places. Uh, I think that would really help us out, but, um, um, eh, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm feeling lazy, I think I'm just going to do it, um, because I want to save my infamy, though. I don't know, I just want to stick to the original plan I had of going against Spain. I think that's how we're going to do it, so, yeah, let's just peace out, let's just end this war. Before it has even started, or it has started, I guess, but, you know. And there we go, we now own this shit. Sweet. Filipino. An Asian miner. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice uh, nice little addition to our empire. So let's just, just start upgrading it straight away. Oh, I guess we can't, because fucking... Um, because liberal government, fuck yeah. Education all the way, that's... Oh, wow. I guess we need to further decrease this one, then. So, like, a minimum amount. This one as well. Increase social spending. That's not ex real expenses, I guess. Yeah, something like, some like this. This looks nice. So we've got, we, we, we're getting quite a lot of closed factories. Um, oh, wow, wow. Why are you failing all of a sudden? Well, that's weird. Uh, yeah, we really need to modernize our industry. We are just producing these old-fashioned goods. We need to start producing cars and shit. How, like, cars, how's the... the yeah, the... You see the main industrial nations? Wow, Colombia is a top five producer of telephones. That's interesting. Radios. A lot of these things that we really need to get. But how do I... How do I start building them? I, I just don't know. I really don't. And I'm annoyed by that. Ch fuck you and your liberation. I I'm just gonna focus on suppressing uh, the liberation movements, because those are the ones that I am afraid of. Oh wow, almost a million communists now. I guess it's because of the war exhaustion. Uh, you know what, let's just clean up our borders. Um, demobilize, of course. Clean up our borders, um, so that uh, so that we don't have to do it in like the next episode, where like we, um, like we did when we invaded China. Sounds like a plan anyways. Yeah, I don't think these armies are the most balanced in the world, but... It's just gonna have to... Deal with it, I guess. Yes, yeah, so that's a lot of infamy com um, infantry compared to artillery, though. Don't know if I exactly... Oh, here we go, here's some artillery. I guess we can split some of these off. And donate them to our armies that need it. Let's actually put it in that army instead. I need to build more artillery, actually. Artillery is getting uh, more and more important. The closer, uh, at the you know the, the longer and longer you get out in the game, uh, the more more and more important artillery gets. Simply because it's um, because it's get it gets better. I mean that's historical. You know, how artillery started out. Okay, la la la. Ugh, can't talk. Let's use a um. A rally point now, actually. Let's set it right there, and then we will build a bunch of artillery and ship it to Europe. Some Yoruba artillery, some Fulba artillery. Nothing beats some good old Fulba artillery. Oh, yes. Like that. Like that. You can see them, like, heading over here. It's kind of cool. And yeah, of course, we need to reorganize our, our our African armies. Let's have like one to focus on this area, and then we will have one uh, going more south, I guess. Central and south and west and 
No, not west, east, I guess. So let's let's put it over in Uganda, I think, maybe? Uh, maybe down here, I don't know what this country is called. I don't, I don't think it's called that today. That's Kenya. That's... Fuck, I should know... I, I, Maybe Zanzibar, Lindi, and is all one country. I, I'm, I'm thinking like something. Wasn't this German? Oh man, I just stopped talking about shit that I don't know about. I think these two are in, independent though. Yeah, fuck. African, um, African stuff. Whatever you know what I mean. He's not my strongest side or whatever. Wow, we're getting a lot of communists now. No, oh, uh, I guess it's just the voters that are quite a bit communists. Makes sense. All right, let's do minimum wage. Sure, let's do that. Shouldn't be an issue. Let's do some minimum wage. Our people must be happy. They must have loads of money to spend on crap. Yeah, look at we are we're having a deed. Um, we have a decent people. Most people are getting their everyday needs. Uh, not that many are getting luxury needs, though. Uh, life needs, everyday needs, partially. I don't know, though. If um, something I'm, I've never really completely understood is sort of the um, like is there is there sort of is there a stage between everyday needs and uh, luxury goods or luxury needs, whatever? I don't know. If you guys know that, then. Once again, we'll leave it in the comments. Okay, let's just uh, let's just decrease our tariffs quite a bit. Let's keep them at five percent, uh, simply because I want to help out my industry that are not exactly doing so well lately. Okay, so I think our armies and our shit is ooh cut down to size. Can spell on Denmark. The People's Republic of Denmark has done something that I didn't pay attention to that has given us this, <gasps> and they are not feared or allied or anything. I think it's time for the uh, glorious kingdom of Portugal to invade the, um, I don't know, the Socialist People's Republic Democratic, I don't know, what, what, what would uh, the Democratic, or what would like the Communist Denmark call themselves? I'm guessing it would be something like, um, I don't know, like, um, uh, Democratic People's Republic of Denmark. It's not a republic, it's not democratic, but it is Denmark, so I mean. <laughs> and it's communist, so you know. That's, uh, I guess, an excuse for that. It's funny how, like, the, the non democratic states, they call themselves democratic. They have, like, for such as, like, Congo and shit, like, the Democratic Republic of Congo and like the Democratic People's Republic of Cor Nor or Korea. It's just funny. I think that's that. I don't know how the situation is in Congo now though. Or the Democratic Republic. That's that's always confused me. Like you have the nation of Congo and then there is the nation of the um, Democratic Republic of Congo. So, ah, uh -huh. weird shit. Ooh, build some more guns. Yeah, let's build some more guns. How are we doing? Are, are, I just want to take a look though. Are people expanding our railroads as I wanted them to be? Yeah, they are expanding alright, but it's just taking forever. Weird. Oh, we can recruit some more Korean uh, troops. Let's do that. Quickly before we end the episode, and anyways. Uh, so, no, let's not do Korea's here. Let's do Hussars. I like Hussars. Ooh, let's uh, let's do some Filipino artillery, artillery and uh, infantry. Now we'll we'll take these guys and we'll ship them to. You know what? Let's just take instead. Let's take these guys and ship them down to this place, because this don't really have too much of a garrison. Maybe I'll ship it all the way down to here, because we don't have any troops over there. Not like not like that's any problem or anything. It's just like people here seem to be happy. Oh, do, was that a Portuguese minor? Portuguese minority I saw. Oh yes. How are we doing in um uh how are we doing in uh in um fuck <laughs> in uh, 
this place. Uh, so this is weird. I am... Um, if anybody can explain this to me, then I would love to. Because it seems like Haiti, or modern day Haiti, is like... They don't feel like being becoming Portuguese, but the... Um, the Dominicans, or the people of Dominican, or I don't know what the the way to say that is, uh, they seem to be uh, accepting Portuguese culture. So now we only need to... I I hope that's going to happen before the end of this game. It's sort of like that these provinces will get the same color as this one, because that's going to look really cool. It's kind of like um, uh, we're sort of replacing the uh, the Spanish people, and repla or the Spanish speakers anyways, and we're replacing... We're we are replacing them with uh, Portuguese people. So... It's kinda cool. But no! The Texan culture is almost dying out, getting replaced by the Yankees. That's sad. It's really funny how they have like an... There's like an own culture for... Uh, for Texas. <laughs> Texan culture, oh yes. I don't really understand the way that the... Uh, like the... The population works in this game. For example, why, why is like this one turning into British? Well, this one is not. Um, I, I don't really understand that. Why, why does this region turn into Portuguese? But this one is not, or it's actually decently Portuguese. Actually, seems like those provinces that we have owned for a long time, we haven't really owned these for a long. I don't really know why these turn into Portuguese. As I mentioned, it's just weird. Look here too, like, this one random promise, it was like, the, the Portuguese people were like, YES! THIS IS WHERE WE WILL LIVE! IN BOSENGA! Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, here you go, here's, oh, here's another Portuguese um, population building up. Here is another one. That's, wow, that's like... Pretty much all the population in this little tiny region here is like Portuguese now. Same happening over here, like the British, they're just replacing the locals. Funny shit. Yep, yeah, uh, I've been rambling on for uh, quite a while now. Sometimes sometimes I forget the fact that I am recording. Because uh, I, 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 that's one of the things I like about this game, like just taking a look at these funny little things that happen. I love this map mode right here, you can see how the population develops, how you can see like Slowly as the game progresses, usually like uh, like uh, the Czechians, they get slowly but surely replaced by the South Germans. It's always something that uh, usually happens. Like also here in Poland, they usually get like Polish gets replaced with um, like Germans, but not in Russia though. Russians usually stay pretty neutral to that. So yeah. Yeah, I don't really know the exact, like, um, how the sort of um, the population or the nationality functions in this game. But, I mean, I guess it's something. I don't know. Anya. Interesting. I thought, isn't that like, just like, um... Wait, what? No! Are you serious? Are you serial right now? The Afghan conquest of Xinjiang. Sure. Sure, Afghanistan is going to conquer this shit. And not only that, they are fucking winning. Look at that. The almost like, like the entire country of China is getting occupied by fucking Afghanistan. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Look at these Italians. They're like, oh, it's been a while now since the Portuguese conquered this shit. Maybe we should start heading home. I don't know. Just a proposal. Oh, hello. 111,000 people. Yeah, let's just split these guys up. Quickly before we end the episode. Wow, look at that. 30 regiments. Almost 90,000 infantry. Holiest of the craps. Split them in two. Split them in two. Split them in two. Let's spread them out. So one... Three, three by the coast. Uh, e yep. And then the last one will do sort of an inland inspection. No, I don't. I don't really know why we need so many troops here. I mean, I guess we could just start transporting them over to um to Portugal proper, because I mean this is where they are needed anyways. But I'm feeling lazy. I don't want to do that now. I want to go watch uh, Game of Thrones and eat uh, food. 
So I'm gonna do that, and as a result, this episode is over. So, thank you so much for seeing this episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness Portugal Campaign, and until next time, bye.